see flowers, maybe for Mother's Day. Look no further than your kitchen. Sarah from Imagination Station is here with some fun experiments and how we can help out mom for Mother's Day. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're actually going to use science to make a really cool gift for mom. I like that. Right? Okay. Um, so we're actually going to talk about white flowers and capillary mm -hmm. action and how we can make these really beautiful colored flowers. So these flowers are these flowers. Yep. We're just going to try and color them. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so flowers actually use two different methods to kind of move water through their system. Mm -hmm. One of those is evaporation and the other is capillary action. So we're actually going to demonstrate capillary action today. I actually right here have two plates of glass. Um, I have them binder clipped together. These are glass on glass and then I actually wedged two little popsicle sticks in oh, yeah, here. Oh you can kind of see that. Okay. So we've created a little bit of a gap in there. So I'm actually going to pour some food coloring in the bottom of this tray and we're just using food coloring because it's got some pigment to it, so it'll be nice so and easy for us it. to see. Sure. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is drop that right in there. And what's happening now is oh, wow. um, we have some cohesion and adhesion happening because water molecules are sticky sticky, which means they want to stick to each other and also other things. Interesting. So it's almost like it's literally crawling up the side yeah. of the glass here. And this is capillary action happening literally right before our eyes. So on the side where we have the large gap, you can see it's not traveling as far. It's having a little more difficulty kind of moving up that glass. And that's because they're not adhe adhesing to each other right. and moving on up. Yep, they're not as close together. But where we've um, clipped these really nice and tightly, you can see that it moves much more easily. Wow, that's so, pretty fascinating. Isn't that amazing? And if we leave this, it can actually maybe rise all the way up to the top of here. That's amazing. Okay. I wouldn't think that that so. would be possible. And so the same thing is happening inside the stems of these flowers. Yes. And um, so we can kind of think about the stems like a whole bunch of drinking straws. So it's like a whole bunch of straws kind of all wound together. Oh, yeah. And um, this is the xylem that moves that water. And it moves straight up in a, in a straight pattern, I guess okay. you would say. Um, but what we're going to do is actually use our nice white flowers. And we're going to make these really beautiful ones. Aww. So what you're going to do is actually just make a nice straight cut on the bottom of your flower. Make a nice clean cut, too, because if you um, use like a dull knife or scissors, it's going to break some of those tubes and it's not going to be as efficient. So you want it to be clean and straight to the point. Okay. Yeah and I bet everybody has a drinking straw at home so what you're going to do is just take that straw bend it in half and then I've actually rubber banded it together. You're going to fill that with um, the food coloring and you just plop this right inside. And then okay. just by that, okay? Yeah. So you just put it right So we in would there. have started with, we'll pretend this was white. <laughs> no, it is white. I don't see any color on there. It's perfectly white. <laughs> uh, but then this is going to happen pretty quickly. So depending on the humidity of your house, mm -hmm. um, this could happen within two hours. You could have a fully vibrant flower like this. So that's something that you could make. You could set it aside and then you can literally watch it change before your eyes yeah. over time. Absolutely. Um, now, if you want to be really fancy, which I know you do. I love being fancy, <laughs> especially with flowers. <laughs> what you can do is actually split the stem. So make a nice clean cut so you have two separate pieces there oh. and then each one of those halves is going to go into a oh. separate half on your straw filled with food coloring and then you could over have time, a firework flower yeah you're going to get something <laughs> like this now we mixed red and blue but instead of getting a purple flower we can actually see right where that food coloring travels to and it's a very clear definition of which side has blue tubes and which side has red so tubes. this could be a fun experiment that you can do mothers with your kids it yeah. can be fun and then you get some colorful flowers flowers out of it as well. Definitely. So this is good, you know, talk with your older kids about the capillary action, your younger kids. This is just good for talking about colors and color mm -hmm. mixing and the color spectrum. Very good stuff. All sorts of good stuff going on. Uh, speaking of good stuff, uh, what's going on down at Imagination Station? Anything fun right now? Absolutely. We're actually <laughs> gearing up for Innovation Week next week. So oh, we'll have... that sounds fun. Yeah. So next Tuesday through Sunday, come by. We're actually building marble runs. So we'll give you all kinds of interesting, weird materials and a couple of different challenges. And you can build with friends and family. It's going to be a good time. Maybe I'll have to see how long I can make my marble run. Absolutely. It sounds like a lot of fun. Always great experiments. Sarah, thank you very much for the Imagination Station. You're welcome. All right, there's more WTOL 11, your day to come right after this. Don't move. Happily.